Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Ellery here. I'm sitting here at the top of the stairs, just tempted to be like, oops. <laughs> it's been, I try not to say bad days because no day is a bad day if you wake up, but it's been like, come on now. That's why I'm gonna get my citizenship to Mexico because ever since I came back to the ghetto, there has been nothing but ghetto things happening to me. I'll just start with yesterday because I don't want to just go on a tangent of all the SHIT that's been going on. I'm trying to work on my cussing now that I'm an older woman. Um, but yeah, yesterday I went to move my truck, Tesla. Doesn't start, doesn't move, doesn't do anything. And I'm like, I left with at least 100 miles. Like, how could it be depleted that fast? And allegedly it's depleted that fast. So I've been trying to get a tow truck since eight o'clock this morning. It's almost, it's 2.30. They've sent a jump man, yes, for an electric vehicle. Allegedly there's a way to do it, but he can't get in the vehicle. So why would you even bring him? I told you it was dead dead. Then they bring a flat truck, which cannot get into my driveway because my car is in my garage. Then I tell them I need a wheel lift, not a flatbed. They bring another flatbed, bread, bread, flat bread, fat, flat bread, fat bread, whatever you want to call it at this point. So here we are at 2.30 and they're allegedly somebody in the way. And now I have to go pick up Yoshi. Then Yoshi, she had to be sent home on Wednesday. She was complaining of a headache before we went to school, so I gave her some Tylenol. And I'm like, are you sure you can go? Are you sure you can go? Because I don't want to pick you up if you don't feel well. So if you can't go to school, tell me. I'm fine, I can go. Hour later, can you come pick up Yoshi? Sure. She has a fever also, so she can't come to school for 24 hours if she has a fever when she leaves school. That's just awesome, isn't it? So great. It's definitely different. Then she sleeps the entire day long, so I'm like, I already know what this is. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. She sleeps all day. The next day, she looks better. Two o'clock hits. Mom, my, my stomach. It looks like she's in labor. You know what that means. She throws up. She's inconsolable, unconsolable, whatever one. And I have to just console her until the Tylenol can kick in because she's like audibly crying. Like boo hoo, boo hoo, boo hoo, wah wah, oh my God, I'm dying. Then after the Tylenol kicks in, she's much better. She's to her normal self. We watch RuPaul's Drag Race, she goes to sleep, wake up in the morning, she seems great. I'm like, yes, I love that for you. It's Friday, you're feeling good. You're ready to go to school. On the way to school, blood just starts sprouting through her nose in my new car. <clears throat> so I'm like, Go home. Her nose bleeds like a faucet for a good 15 minutes. I keep elevating it, and as she elevates it, it comes out her mouth. I know this is a little TMI, but I'm just like, what's going on? So she ends up being like 45 minutes late for school. But um, if I miss this tow truck, <laughs> My auntie's here, but technically I'm supposed to be here, so she's gonna have to be Ellery Noel, okay? Because we're not gonna miss this tow truck. Otherwise, Progressive can go away, okay? Because I already switched my car insurance from Geico to Progressive because Geico was charging me Louis Vuitton prices, and Progression was Progressive was charging me Target, and I love me some Target, okay? I know that was a little long winded, but that's how my last two days have been. But today's gonna be better. Today is Friday. I'm not doing anything today, but tomorrow we're gonna take kids back to. Um, the outdoor area. I'm gonna take kids there because it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, good weather. And um, I wait for the parents to, you know, eat, drink, and let the kids run around outside. That's the plan. Okay. Shout out to everybody who's made purchases on shopsteal.com so far. Ew. If you guys have made a purchase, you know I don't play about that shipping. I put either same day I ship out or the next day. So you're gonna get it. Hopefully, I don't know. That rest is on USPS, but. It's supposed to be two day shipping once they actually put it in the shipping, put it in the system, but like at the post office, not just the label created. It'll be at the post office, okay? Fast shipping, cheap prices, and make sure you guys don't wait too long. I'll tell you right now, the popular ones are the forest green and the brown sleeveless. Those ones are going the fastest, even though all of them are fire to me, but those colors, I get it. They're fire. Anyways. Small little update. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Um, are you in a safe location? Yes. I said I wasn't gonna drink today because tomorrow I wanted to have a little fun, but it, it, all the signs are pointing so if I don't get something to calm me down, I'm gonna end up lifting up that car on my damn self. I'm gonna turn into Hulk and I'm gonna just pull it out myself. Cause when, when I don't get nothing done from nobody else, I always do it myself. You don't think I can lift a little car? 
I can lift a little car. I've been calling since 8.30 this morning. They done sent a request for another company that's canceled because they don't have the right truck to get my car out. You guys have all the notes. You have seven hours worth of notes saying I need a wheel lift truck. Why are you calling flatbed companies? You're making me yell. My daughter's in the car. She doesn't deserve this type of energy, but I am frustrated. I only have like two more hours before the service center closes. And if my car ain't there, by the time the service center closes, Progressive, you cancel. Give me a refund, because I pay my premium in full. Y'all should be treating me like I pay my premium in full, because I pay my premium in full. Give me my tow truck. Three, two, one. One, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? Hi, daughter. Hi. Did you have a good day? Yeah. Any uh, thing happen? No more bloody nose? I had a little bloody nose at lunch, but it wasn't like bad. Cause like I just had I had felt something like creeping down my nose, but it didn't like go down to the lip. So you just let it creep down instead of just. I didn't. I well I wiped it off. It didn't creep down to the lip, but I had I had dabbed it. And I saw it, but I, I was trying to like be a little slick with it. But a uh, girl at my table had asked if uh, yeah I had bloody nose, and I was like what? And then and the girl next to me thought it was my talkie dust, so she said okay. no, it's her talkie dust. I was like yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad it wasn't as bad as it was at home, cause that would have been a bloody nightmare. Did you have any work yet to make up? Um, it wasn't really that much. So basically, my first period teacher, we didn't really do any like paper assignments. In my second period, we had to do a project that I had started but didn't get finished. And since she said she was grading it today, so I wouldn't have had enough time, so she excused that for me. The only thing I had to do is like this five question thing, period. which I got a hundred on. Period. period. And third period, my not very nice teacher, she assigned us three tests, three essays, three essays. She is bored, bruh. She assigned it today or while you were gone? While I was gone. So what'd she say? Like, you were sick. You still have she to do said, it? would you like to do it for homework? <laughs> <laughs> so now you have homework? No. Why? Because I don't think she's going to make me do it. Dar, I think you should be prepared if she does. Because already... it doesn't seem like she minds throwing you out of bad grade. So. She asked if I would like to, so I don't think I have to. Zara, that's not a way to approach it. You need to just do it. You're good at oh, writing. Please. You're good at writing anyway. Just get it done. What is it? What is? What do you have to write on? I don't know. Are you about to cry? No. What would be the difference if you were at school? Everybody else had to do it? Because it's the weekend. It doesn't matter. I have to work on the weekend too. That's not how life works. If you have something to do that is work related, you have to do it. No, there's no law saying on the weekends you don't do anything. That would be great. But if you have something to do, that's called being responsible. You get it done. And the more you complain about it, the longer it's going to take and the harder it's going to be. All you do is talk. Writing an essay should be easy. And if you need help, I will help you. You getting frustrated is just like ridiculous. We don't even have anything to do today. Y'all think I'm playing? Why did you just call me and tell me another flatbed was on the way? The tow truck man. It's it's 4:30. Like I'm I'm like I'm getting to the point where tears are starting to rise up through my body. This is literally the sixth company that Progressive has called. When I get this irritated, send me to the cancel department. I'm I'm good for it. I'm good for it. Send me to the cancel department because I don't even want to deal with y'all no more. Like that's where I am right now. I'm so irritated. <sighs> Three, two, one's not gonna help no more. Mind you, my watch stopped working. Again, please tell me something nice, please. Hello? I swear I can't make this up, y'all. I swear. So dude said he had a flat bag. Then I was like, do you guys have uh tire lifts? He was like, the guy who has the tire lift truck or whatever the truck is called is out. So let me call somebody. He calls somebody. The guy says, can you take a picture so I can see what it looks like? Because he should be able to get it out with a flatbed, even though everybody who's came said they can't. Show him a the picture. Oh, well, all he needs is a snatch block, and we can do that. I'm not sure why the tow truck companies have told you that they can't. You know, everybody got that PPP loan. Now everybody got a tow truck company. I would laugh, but I'm not in the mood, sir. Then I get back on the phone with the tow truck guy. I tell him, the guy said, all you need is some snatch blocks that you can get out. He's like, yeah, I got to test it out the other day with some snatch blocks because it got hooks under the car. But wait, do you want to damage your car? Yeah. 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 I was like, no, sir. And he was like, 
Uh, well, yeah, I guess you wouldn't want to do that, but uh, I'm sure I can get that on out there for you. Because, uh, uh, you know, it's a four-wheel drive, so, you know, you can't just drag it out. But uh, uh, what I do is uh, I get some dishwasher soap and slide it on up the truck. Dishwashing soap? What is... It sounds like you got the PPP loan. Like, what is going on? It's a real ghetto in this country. I'm telling you, I am going to be out of here when Yoshi graduates. I wish I could sooner. And then what I was saying before, my watch, my Roly, last year, last July, I went to get the, 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 you guys probably seen that video, I went to get the bracelet fixed because the bracelet on it broke. Easy fix, it's actually free. Then he's like, <laughs> you thought, there's something mechanically shaking in here. We're gonna have to keep it observed. All right, $650 later, the same shit is happening today. I took it in yesterday, I didn't even heard a call back. But I'm telling you, if they call me asking me for some money, I'm selling it back to them. Cause why does this shit fall apart? Why is it falling apart? Hmm? Did I get the swap meat roly? Like, what? did I get the uh, uh, roly poly? Like, what? come on now. Expensive stuff is overrated. Cause I shouldn't be having these issues. I thought you'd pay for better quality. Better quality. Watches in the shop. Cars getting towed. <sighs> Things could be worse. I'm counting my blessings. You have insurance. It's gonna get done. You can sell the watch back if you want. They will buy it. No, you're probably not going to, but you can. It's an option. It's not the end of the world. Cheer up, Ellery. You're gonna be good. But go make your drink. Yeah, go make it. Hello, finally getting out the house for the day. I want to record this little video. Um, you guys will probably already see it by now, me like showing my car, but my nails weren't done, so I just glued on these <laughs> press-ons. They're hella tiny. And look at this one. <laughs> Looks like my finger is broken. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but yeah, I'll just have to use my left hand. My child has been irritating me all day per usual, being slow, lazy on her phone when I ask her to do something. The usual. But we're about to go record that little video and then head to meet up with bro and sis. Honey, honey. Honey, honey. Yeah, you don't have a portable charger, do you? I didn't bring it. We're with the kiddos. I'm not gonna my drink. The game is the game starting, starting back there. Hawks and the Celtics have just started. Go Hawks, even though, you know. Um, the kids are very energetic. I'll say that, except my Nori boy. She's just, he's just trying to teeth her little teeth away. Hi, honey bunny. Hi, honey bunny. Hi, honey bunny. Yeah. Callie's forcing us to do some TikToks, per usual. And um, it feels beautiful outside. About 80, 85. But yeah, we haven't eaten all day. All of us haven't eaten all day. And it's almost 4 o'clock, so. The current agenda right now is food. Y'all rushing us over here and the food ain't even here? I'm trying to get a taste. I didn't rush, I just said before somebody. I food. thought we was coming over here to grub. I thought we was coming to grub hub. The only one grabbing is Nori. Nori, I'm so jealous. Here, put your hand right here. There you go, big girl. There you go. There you go. You ain't hungry for real. You ain't hungry for real. You just want to chew on that. Right. So we left the greenery area because my brother wanted to watch the Knicks game and they for some reason switched to football. It's not even like football season. That was very ghetto. And he wanted to go to his friend's house to watch the game, which he said was 10 minutes away. And I feel like I'm in a whole different part of Georgia. 10 has turned into 20, 30, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Like, where are we? All I see is trees. She sleep. She didn't even wake up that early. So I don't know why she sleep, but she sleep. So she's not sleep. Did I wake you? I just turned off a whole full blast of Beyonce and I woke you. Beyonce saying, Uncle Johnny made my dress that cheap spandex. She looks a mess. That made you sleepy? Mm -hmm. ghetto. Anyways, I think we're finally arriving to Augusta, Georgia. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I don't even know whose house we're at, but we're here with all of our children. <laughs> Good morning, it's Sunday. Not technically Sunday, fun day, because we're doing what on Sunday? 
Nothing. That's not like a tradition. Like it's not that I don't yet yeah, it's that I don't want to do anything. But you know, if I had something to do, I would do it unwillingly, you know? Anyway, we had fun yesterday. Hopefully before you go to your dad's next weekend, we can hit up the movies. I'm saying hopefully because I have a lot to do this week, but I'm gonna try to make time for it. Today's gonna be pretty chill. I'm just gonna, you know, sit up on the couch, watch a little TV. Love is Blind reunion comes on tonight. Can't wait to see that. Tomorrow I'm gonna spend all day getting my videos done. Also tomorrow morning I gotta go pick up Cruella. Make sure she's okay, the baby girl. Now I'm just treating her with a little car wash. Hopefully I can get somebody to come give her a wash cause she hasn't had one in like months. So hopefully that'll make her feel better. She's probably just, you know. <coughs> so yeah, that's the plan tomorrow. But we're about to eat breakfast, well. I'm about to eat breakfast. She already ate her. She had potatoes. She don't like eggs, so she had fruit and bacon. I love this little messy hair in you. So cute. I'm so jealous. <laughs> and then I had a grown woman breakfast. I had sourdough toast with some pesto spread, avocado, tomato, over medium eggs, bacon, potatoes, yes. Fit for a queen. That's a high vibrational plate right there. <laughs> no vibrations, but. All right, but yeah, happy Sunday fun day. And I'm nervous, y'all. I made something different. Your hair certainly changed from this morning. I haven't seen her all day. She's been in her room, I've been on the couch. Hi. Hi. That looks spicy. It's not, I didn't, it's not, it's not even peppering it, so please don't start. It's just shrimp, broccoli, and the usual I was sweeping on it all the time. Quote, quote, stir fry. And when I tried to make this the other day, she opted to have my aunt get her McDonald's. But guess what? My auntie ain't here today, baby. So you gonna try it and you gonna like it. All right, I was on the phone, so I didn't get her first reaction. You already know how this goes. This is a one through 10 moment. Sheesh. Make sure you scoop it with the rice because the rice has flavor too. I've seasoned it. Blow it, it's hot, dang. Lava mouth? You're supposed to eat the whole bite together, like the broccoli, the shrimp, and the rice. You're actually supposed to mix it. I just didn't mix it because I didn't want to hear your mouth. Oh gosh. I'm trying to scoop it. It's actually supposed to be topped with, I already put some in it, but with this, this is the sauce I put, cream broccoli sauce. This is actually really bomb. Somebody actually ate most of this because it was full and they went a little heavy. You don't like that? You like that when we did our uh, Korean barbecue. Let me do the bite. You take too long and I'm getting impatient because I'm hungry. Um, one on Macy Gray, one through 10. 9.9. .9. Wait, a 9.9? .9? I, I gave you a 9.9 because I don't want these peppers. Zara, you, eat, you ate those peppers this morning. I don't know, I did it, I don't like them. Eat it, because you're avoiding it because you think it has, it's spicy and it's not. These are sweet peppers. It tastes like pepper. So if the peppers weren't in there, it'd be a 10. Mm -hmm. You know what, I don't regret my decision. I believe the peppers not only give it a little bit of something, but it adds color to the dish. Everybody likes color in their dish, okay? But you know what, I was not expecting a 9.9. .9. A win is a win. I definitely was thinking she was gonna give me more on the seven side just because, you know, she complained so much about having this yesterday. What if I don't like it? What if it's not good? Are you gonna make something else? Like complain, complain. And now you're eating it talking about 9.9. .9. It's like, it's like I shock myself sometimes in, you know, turning non-believers into believers. She's grabbing regular barbecue sauce right now, but that's not even hurting my feelings because without the regular barbecue sauce, she said I had a 9.9. .9, so with the regular barbecue sauce, she's making me an 11. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So what a great way to end Sunday. I mean, Brave reviews are always, you know, they just really do something for me as a mother. You know, it just tells me like, I be chefing it in this cook kitchen like my wrist be flicking like you can't really mess with me you know what I'm saying like it's really getting on that level with it like I want to just have a mom off and be like your kids come over here and like you cook better than my mom and I'm just like you know you can't be hurting your parents feelings like that but that's what they say when they come over to Lachie's house like you cook better than my parents and um I, I just I just don't know what to say I mean chopped call me 
Um, all the cooking shows, you know, I'm a contender at this point and most of these recipes and ingredients, I'm not even following anything. It's just, it's just all me. This is regular. So yeah, thank you. And if, um, you guys want me to one day just do a whole full cooking video, let me know. Cause you know, I, I'm here to help. I'm not a gatekeeper. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this Sunday. We'll see y'all in the morning. <laughs> School starts tomorrow. Like I said, we don't want no manic Mondays, but we're not because we're going into Sunday happy okay <laughs> good night y'all say good night uh macy good night good night <laughs> happy monday i'm about to take you to school and then head to tesla service center where my baby has hopefully been this whole time miss her will you turn the tv off so we can go all right just pulled up to the doctor's office for my baby girl i'm about to go in and see What's wrong with her? Koala, mommy's here. Oh, gosh, she has a doctor bill. I feel like they're trying to play me because since when does a battery die and you have to replace it? Like, can't you just, most people get jumps, right? Tesla can't get no jump. They're saying they have to replace some 12 volt battery because when it dies, it's just better to do that. I don't really care what's better. Honestly, I think she'll be fine. It's never happened before. My battery has never died. But what am I gonna say? don't do that, then they're not gonna do the service. So I have to pay 300 and something dollars to replace this damn battery and pray that nothing else is wrong with her because I'm already irritated. There's nothing I can do, I'm just gotta be blessed that I'm able to do it. And I'm on my way home, coffee, pack some orders, edit some videos, and then it's probably gonna be time to pick up Yoshi in no time. Yay, happy Monday. <laughs> hey kid. How was school? Good. I don't accept good. Wait, what was right. the question I was supposed to, not how was school, but what happened at school? Learning. Darn. So what do you want me to say? I want you to say more than one word. One word. Okay, you're gonna irritate me. And I, I hate when I'm in a good mood and then you do stuff that irritates me because you thought that was a joke and you thought you ate, but you didn't. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably gonna work on a little bit more of your video and then I have to make a magic trick out of dinner because when I tell you we don't have nothing. I said we were going to the store. I did say we were going to the store. I didn't say we were going today or tomorrow or the next day. I need to make a list. So don't tell me I forgot anything because if you don't put another list, it will be dismissed. But am I gonna finish my work week early? Oh wait, we have something to do tomorrow, so I can't. What? Some immersive thing. I really don't even know what it is. Wait, what's immersive? I mean like, immersive. What's that mean? Uh, it's like, when you go to something that's like, kind of like immersive. What's immersive? Girl, I don't know, clearly. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like 3D digital, oh, and, it, it and it looks real, but it's not. But it's not a movie, it's like an exhibition. I really don't know. We'll see tomorrow. When you'll see it, you'll know it's an immersion. Immersive. Immersive. What? Girl, get me off of here because now I'm sounding real ignorant. All right, it's dinner time. Well, for her, it's dinner time. I had the small amount of leftovers that were that was dinner yesterday. And I made her some barbecue chicken, <laughs> some macaroni, and it was supposed to have some vegetables. Don't judge me, but... I'm out of butter, and I gotta have butter with my vegetables. Like, I ain't even got no olive oil, so. Tomorrow, though, I'm going to the store because where I said we were going, the immersive thing, we're not gonna go anymore because I didn't check the address, and it's an hour away. And that's not really conducive to my schedule. I thought it was gonna be like downtown, but. So yeah, instead we're gonna go to the grocery store. Wednesday, I'm gonna try to hit up the movie. She wants to see Scream 4. Not excited about that, but. Whatever Zara wants. Zara wants, Zara gets, Zara gets a little man, little Zara wants screaming for. So start streaming practice on Wednesday, you already know this. If she don't, you can ask her, but I'm sure she does because she's one busy teenager, you know? She's always busy, busy, busy. But uh, movies on Wednesday, nails on Thursday. I would keep these nails on, but I'm looking like this is my strong <laughs> This one's not strong. <laughs> My other hand's not strong enough. I don't know how I put this nail on so quickly, but I would. I did put them on like five minutes. But these are cute little in-between gel set nails. These are from Static Nails. 
It's there. It's right here on the counter because I need to clean up. Double French round. When I seen them in here, I was like, them look like some some not gonna fit in my type of nails. Cause I'm a visual person, like I have to see it on my nails. So when I put it on my nail, it fit and you know, they look really natural. They look like my natural nails. Don't they look natural? Like, <laughs> I, I just drink a lot of milk and take my vitamins. That's why my nails are so strong and aggressive because <laughs> they're mine, but they're not. I actually bought some 3D sculpting gel. So I haven't done a nail tutorial. Actually, I have done two nail tutorials. I just never posted them because I wasn't really feeling them like that. But this one I'm definitely gonna post because I I, 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 I I see it in my mind how it's gonna come out. Ziggles, ziggle, zaggles with some chrome polish. I'm gonna be cute. I, 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 I'm gonna put it in the existence. They're gonna be cute. So check that out. That's gonna be on TikTok and Instagram. And um, y'all gonna see the final results on later on this video, hopefully. Can I help you? Why are you staring at me? Oh, not you say I'm louder than your phone because your phone is louder than me. <laughs> How's the chicken? Let's hear it. 10, 10, 10, 10 across the board. 15! Oh honey, oh honey, oh honey, where's the cards? Where's the extra cards? We only have tens. Can we get a five in here? <sighs> it's regular. Have a good night. Alright, looking a hot mess per usual. But before I do my nails, which I'm about to do right now, I have like four boxes that were sitting over here in this corner and I'm cleaning my living room. So I was just gonna open them real quick because a couple of you guys last time said that you like the mini unboxing. So I'll start doing them. Speaking of nails, one of the boxes was from Salon Perfect, which I didn't think I would need to wear press-ons because I know how to do my own Gel-X now, but I've been noticing like when I take off my Gel-X and I don't have time to do them over again, press-ons in between help me from having man hands in between my sets. So I'm glad that I'm getting um, all these press-ons now because I have like a quick little glue-on option in between when I'm getting my nails done. So they sent this glazed package, which I'm excited about because I've never had glazed nails. You guys seen the trend, I'm sure, on TikTok or Instagram. They're kind of pearlescent. I'm not really sure how this works, but this says it's a glazed, glazing powder pen. So you're supposed to apply the chrome powder on top of a gel color by like rubbing it onto the nails and it's supposed to give you like a little glazed look. And I'm really excited to use this because I thought those nails were so pretty when they were trending. I think Hailey Bieber, somebody made them trendy, but they were super cute. And the PR package came with this UV light and a gift card to Krispy Kreme. Okay, don't hate me for this, but I don't eat Krispy Kreme. I'm not a donut girl, barely a sweets girl. I did buy cookies the other day because sometimes every now and then, I don't even buy ice cream. Like there's no sweets, there's not even juice in this house. Sometimes I'll buy orange juice or peach juice cause Yoshi likes to like, Yoshi likes to make smoothies, but sugar really doesn't exist besides brown sugar and honey in this house. I mean, since I have the gift card, Yoshi will be happy about that cause she is opposite. She loves sweets. I just don't serve them to her here. She has to go to her dad's for that. All right, next is this Pixie in shower steam facial. I was confused with that mint, but I guess it's a self-heating cleansing mask, which is kind of interesting to me. I haven't used too many of Pixie skincare products besides their toner. It sounds interesting, but I don't usually experiment too much with skincare. I have to be very picky with my skincare because the older I get, the more my skin tries to like ruin my life. Like I'm not as, I don't have as many hypopigmentation marks as I used to. You know when I had said I was looking like a macadamia nut because I had all these light patches everywhere. It's been under control probably because I put aloe vera on my face every night, but also with skincare is this hyper real, high performance skincare stuff by MAC. I haven't got anything from MAC in a really long time, so I was surprised to even see this. <laughs> Can't get it out. Um, well, we can see it. It's a skin balancing hydration serum. I love hydration serums. <laughs> I'm gonna try this because I love serums and I love hydrating serums because they're the easiest to wear under your makeup. Like hydrating serums, they're kind of like water-based because they don't leave your face like oily before you put your makeup on. So, well, most of them, the ones that I use. And on the bottom of the box is the full collection. They have a cleansing oil and a skin canvas balm, which is a moisturizing cream. And they also throw in some Fix Plus, ew, because I am definitely low on my setting sprays. Looking good. They also threw in some mattifying primer. I don't think I've tried this before. Ooh. 
Okay. And lastly, oh, it's not lastly. Second to lastly, we got some stuff from L'Oreal. They also have some primers in here. I've mentioned before that I love L'Oreal skincare, so I'm definitely gonna try this mattifying primer and this pore minimizing primer. And then they have some lippies all around here. These are cream, I believe. I haven't really been wearing many lipsticks, if you guys haven't noticed. I've been a gloss girl, which I never thought I would be back in the day. I keep telling myself I'm gonna start wearing more colored lipsticks, but I haven't, haven't done it yet, but stay tuned, you know, <laughs> one day. And these were the spectrum of colors. I usually stay down here. Cause up here, I feel like washes me out. Lastly, we have ColourPop. They have a Alice in the Wonderland collection. Forgive me, cause some of these might be like old drops, but like I said, they've been over here hidden in the corner. So there's some shadow sticks right here. This is just a pocket brush, which I'm definitely gonna keep cause the wig always needs to be brushed and I need a pocket brush. Here's a gloss and a lippy. I really love this. Very nice, it'll look nice to me, even though I'm like still kind of anti-cream lipstick because I'm just too messy when I'm out. But this is a really pretty red. I gotta keep this one down since I swatched it. And this duo came with this dark colored gloss. I have to try this actually together, that might be cute. Here's another lipstick and gloss combo. Yoshi or Kelly might like this gloss, so I'll keep that too. This is a lip mask. Self-explanatory, and then there's these two blushes. This isn't really my cup of tea as far as the color palette is concerned. And I don't usually wear eyeshadow sticks mainly because of my lashes. So as usual, when I have stuff that I know I'm probably not going to use or doesn't match with my, you know, preferred color palette, I put it in a box and I donate it. Nothing goes to waste. Everything is usable. But I'm really excited about some of these things. I'm also really excited about my nails because I told you guys earlier I was doing the 3D nails. I'm excited and I'm nervous because I'm hoping it's not harder than it looks. I'll just have to wait. I'm going to show y'all the final results and then if you guys want to see how I did it, like I said, it's going to be on TikTok or Instagram. But I need to get to work because it's already 9 o'clock and this usually takes me a while. So let's see how these turn out. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, y'all, this is how they turned out. I'm not mad. This wasn't like my original idea that I was gonna do, but then when I started practicing with it, I was like, I need like a set where I do something kind of easy so I could get the hang of the uh, gel, but I like them. They look, they look nice, especially since I did them myself. Check the gram for a tutorial. Um, I'm home alone, as you can see. No, she's with her dad this weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to the Hawks. And then Saturday I'm going to a fight party. Javante Davis, Javante is already his name. Davis party, Saturday. So that's my weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Finally getting back in the hang of non-vacation mode, which is great because, you know, I was stuck for a minute, even though I am kind of planning my next one. Shh. Um, I got the co-sign from my mom that that timeshare that I bought at the Resort was actually kind of legit. <laughs> Look at me doing things without my mama. Like, I was gonna call her before I bought it because I call my mom before I make any type of big purchases. But I was like, let me act 37. Let me act 37 and make this decision on my own. And I did. And she found out from my sister. That's a whole nother story. But she called them and did her own little research and she said it's not so bad. So planning my next trip so we can get a bang for our buck. Other than that, I'm gonna make me a salad, chill in front of the TV, watch Snowfall. It's getting real and enjoy my alone time. That's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, love you. Mwah.